Welcome to the third part of module 2. Let's learn about Norton's theorem and how to solve problem based on it. The theorem basically says that if you have a number of voltage sources, current sources, resistances etc. All this can be replaced by an equivalent circuit which contains only one current source and one resistance which is in parallel with it. So this is how the theorem is stated and you have to learn it by heart. So let's try to do a problem based on it. So we have to find the equivalent Norton circuit So as the first step, in order to find the equivalent Norton circuit, we have to short circuit the element through which we have to find the response. So here we have to short circuit the terminals A, B given over here. Here the current does not flow through the 3 ohm branch because the resistance through the branch AB is equal to 0. So the entire current flows through AB. So IN is equal to 10 divided by 2 which is equal to 5 ampere. So this is the Norton's equivalent current. Now we have to find the equivalent resistance. So short circuit the voltage source. If it had been a current source, we have to open circuit it. Here, 2 ohm is parallel with 3 ohm. So the net resistance is 6 by 5 ohm. So this is the equivalent Norton circuit with the 5 ampere current source which is in parallel with the equivalent resistance which is 6 by 5 ohm. Now 